Hey everyone, welcome to the eCreators Academy. As you probably all know in Moodle, we all have the option by default to have our own profile picture and customise it. Now that might be customising it in any way, shape or form, because in most cases we can upload our own profile picture. So for some organisations, you don't want the ability for a user to be able to do that. Now as we know with Moodle, it is very feature packed and it's got an abundance of options. But sometimes it's a case of, well, where do I find that option? That's the hard part. And that's what you need to sort of get past. So to be able to do this, I'm going to show you how we can disable the ability for someone to be able to change their profile picture. So as you can see here, I've got a really lovely profile picture here as um, the LearnBook administrator, but I want to turn off this functionality for everybody else. So if they already have one, it will stay locked as what it is, um, but they don't have the ability to change it. So maybe as an admin, I'm just going to upload a generic one that everyone's going to have, or we're not going to use them at all, whatever it might be. So to start with, I'm going to be in the admin account and I'm going to go on my left hand menu bar here. I'll go into the administration tab, expand that, scroll down to site administration. And on the site administration tab, so the main tab that we're on that we land on, we'll go scroll down the page to under security. And within that section, we will go into site security settings. So the second one down. Now in this case, I'm wanting to scroll nearly all the way to the bottom of that list. Excuse the scrolling go all the way down and you'll see here that there's a field called disable user profile images. So by default it's not selected so that the users would be able to go into their profile and edit their image. But I'm going to tick this and say yes I want to disable that. So we'll tick that box and we'll go down to the bottom and say save changes. Now because I'm an admin, so changes are saved, and because I'm an admin there's no point in me showing you on that account. So I'm just going to go up to the top right hand side and log out. And I'll just quickly log in as my with a test account. And sign in. All right, so this is now my student account. And I'm going to go up to my menu bar again. So the top right hand side, I'm going to go down to preferences, because I'm wanting to edit my profile. And look, this isn't the only way to get to it, I could get to it through my dashboard and those sort of things as well. This is one of the options. So under my user account here, I'm going to click Edit Profile. Go into here, scroll down through my profile, and now under the Users a Picture section, you'll notice that it'll show my current picture if there was one, but I don't have one uploaded, it's the generic one. Um, it says None, which is fine, but it's also now turned off that Dropbox. So normally, typically we would have that drag and drop box where they could drag their image in and upload their own picture or delete the existing one, and as you'll see, it's not there. If I was just to quickly switch back to my admin account, just so that I can show you what it looks like when it is there. We'll log in as an admin. I'll do the same thing into preferences, edit my profile, scroll down, and this is what it would look like when it was enabled. So here I could delete an existing picture, and then I could drag and drop a new picture into this section here. So you have full flexibility. Want profile pictures? Great, leave them turned on. Want to disable that for people to be able to change them? This is the way to go about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in some of our other videos.